Mets head to the Alvinston Arena for Game 2 in the Walsh Championship Final Series. The Alvinston Killer Bees taking the ice in front of a capacity home crowd as they look to improve to 2-0 in the best of seven. On the other side of the ice, the Tilsonburg Thunder. The Thunder falling in overtime in Game 1, looking to reverse that result and tie the series up at one game apiece. The pair would face off in Game 2 on Friday night. Jumping into the action and it was a hot start for the Thunder. Jamie McQueen opens the night with a quick shot off the draw and the Thunder take an early lead in Alvinson. Later in the period, now the Thunder on the power play looking for more. Sheldon Thompson wins the battle out front. Braden Aubin gets the goal. That's Aubin's third of the playoffs and Tilsonburg is up by two after 20. Into the second period we go and here come the Bees. Jacob Chandler sets it up for Brennan Feezy and Feezy gets the Bees on the board. That was the start of a big night for the Walsh playoffs leading scorer and it's 2-1 Thunder. Minutes later, now more from Feezy. It's a three on two for the Bees. Ethan Lemaru spots out Feezy, and Feezy's got a pair. That goal knots us, and we're all tied up at 2 2. The game tied up, but the Thunder would answer. It's a five on three power play for Tilsonberg. Brayden Aubin shot hits Sheldon Thompson out front, and the puck sneaks through. Thompson picks up his first of the playoffs, and the Thunder retake the lead. Later in the second now, and we'd open the floodgates. Carson Perry starts us off with a power play marker, and it's 3-3. Less than a minute later, however, and the Thunder would answer on a power play of their own. It's Mitch Fitzmorris with a tip out front. That goal makes it 4-3 Thunder, but the goals wouldn't stop there. Right off the ensuing center draw, and the Thunder would get another. Kyle Baker cuts out front and finishes a beauty. And it's 5-3 Thunder. Only 12 seconds separating Fitzmorris and Baker's goals at 19 seconds after that. How about a hat trick? Brennan Feezy roosts it on the rush. The Alvinson Arena lining up for Feezy and it's 5-4 Thunder after two periods of play. Into the third we go and it wouldn't be long for an equalizer. Owen McGowan picks off a pass in the neutral zone and it's McGowan tying the game. All tied up once again, 5-5 now and it's the Bees on the rush looking for the lead. Jacob Chandler, toe drag shot. Mitch Fitzmorris dives into the crease and he blocks the rebound. Late in the third period, now still tied, Carson Perry finds a loose puck out front, and he sets up Brendan Feezy for the game breaker. It's four goals from Brendan Feezy. And just when you thought he was done, it's Feezy off the center draw with a toe drag beauty. What a night for Brendan Feezy as he pots five for the Bees, and the Alvinston Killer Bees take game two. The Alvinston Arena on their feet for Feezy as the Bees rally for the win. James McEwen would add an empty netter as the Bees take it. 8-5 year final on Friday night in Alvinston.